Hey friends, it's Mike here, Guitar Tricks. In this video, I'd like to talk about an expressive technique that's really useful and can come up with some cool ideas for your licks in riffs, and it's known as sliding from note to note or from chord to chord. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help out. Now, back to the lesson. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to start by grabbing the first note that I want to get, which is an A note, second fret of the G string. Now say the next note that I want to play is a C note up here at the fifth fret of the same string. Okay, and a cool way that I can do this is instead of picking each note individually, I can slide up my finger to the second note after I pick just one time on the first note. Okay, gives it a little bit of texture and it's a little more expressive. Now how to do this technique is it's important to keep pressure on the fretboard, okay? You don't want to let go of the note as you're sliding uh, because then the note will just die off. Kind of like that, right? So you want to keep pressure on. And you can hear when you go really slow, from fret to fret, you'll hear it stagger each time it gets to the next fret you're going to. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is do it quick enough that you don't hear that. Okay? It gives it a really cool sound, right? It's also important to practice getting to your target note. And you know, when you first try this, you might overshoot it or kind of not really get it cleanly. So it's to be practiced a little bit. You know, practice this technique to get to the note that you're trying to get to. So a great little practice exercise for this is to pick a scale. I'm going to pick the A minor pentatonic scale and run it up on one string. You can use a slide up as well as slide down. Okay, so the frets I'm going to get on the third string here are the second, fifth, seventh, ninth, twelfth, and then the fourteenth fret is the higher octave A note. And I'm just going to come down after that. So it might be something like this. Really cool. You can also practice this with any finger. So the middle finger, ring finger, even the pinky. All right, now what's cool about this technique is that it's not limited to just one note. You can use it for chords, two notes at a time, right? Like say for that intro music I was doing, uh, using octave shapes. Okay, and you can slide all over the place and get really cool effects experimenting with that. You could even do chords. Even a full six string chord, let's say a G major, full bar chord shape. All right, so lots to experiment with here and I hope that you come up with some cool ideas. All right, we'll check you on the next one. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Please leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out guitartricks.com for more in-depth step-by-step lessons.